The podcast that you are about to enjoy is part of the Low Tree Studios Podcast Network. To enjoy more great podcasts like this one, visit LowTreeStudios.com. Welcome to a round around table. This is the episode where your favorite friends from the Wreck My Podcast get together around a virtual table and talk about nothing and everything. I'm here with my guest this week. He's a lean, mean, farting machine. It's Craiger. <laughs> He's clean and pristine, and his name's not James Dean. It's Joe. It's the lemon. Pe- it's the l- blah. It's the lemon pledge. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the lemon pledge. And then I'm Jordan. Uh, I'm your host. That's it. Here. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Wow. I didn't, I didn't do one Talk for me. Talk about favoritism. Um, anticlimactic over here. Uh, Cam's not with us this week because what? He's on quote unquote vacation. vacation. Is that what he's calling it? He's calling it vacation. I, I don't know if I believe him. Vacation? I mean, I just saw his Instagram. What he's is he doing? In, he's in Tahoe. Oh, he's in. From, okay. So, oh, he's so he's running. Out of town. Yeah, he's running from the law. That's what's happening. So he's not here this week. This is the first time we're doing a round around table virtually, and it's been about forty minutes from when we should have started, <laughs> and we're finally starting. <laughs> well, you don't gotta let but, the people know. But that. yeah, you Come know, on, you know, this is we, it was a work in progress. We're trying some things. We're seeing if we can get things to sound better, to look better, whatever. I'm in a star destroyer. That's a new spot. I I left Texas. I'm in a star destroyer. It's great. It's awesome. We're we're in Joe's casting room. Yes, yeah, buddy. on Earth. He's, he, he's that couch? He, he has a <laughs> casting chair. He couldn't afford the casting couch. No, no. He only wants one person <laughs> at a time. That's it. He doesn't need a bunch. Um, it's guys, very have niche. You, have you guys listened to the newest episode of the Elite Eight Showdown podcast yet? Of course I have because my daddy's on it. Unfortunately, yeah. I have. <laughs> yeah, wow. so you guys heard. You guys heard that they lost track of Betty White. So at the beginning of their episodes, they have a death match, a backyard death match championship every week. And Betty White has been running rampant. She has been literally murdering every person that they put up against her. But this Murder. last week, they lost track of Betty White. They don't know where she is. And I actually got a voicemail, technically a collect call voicemail, from Big Chuck collect. over at the uh, Elite Eight Showdown podcast. Uh, and and I wanted to play it here for you guys because I don't know if we need to be worried or what, but here, let's take a listen to this collect call I got. Incoming collect call from Elite Eight Showdown's secret bunker. Uh, you don't get a choice. You have to accept the charges. Big Chuck, you on the line. Go ahead. Hey, wreck my podcast, guys. Cam, Jordan, Cam's Joe, on here. and Craiger. Hi. Uh, hey, real quick, <laughs> just wanted to give you guys kind of a heads up of what's going on over here at Elite Eight Showdown. Um, as you guys kind of know, we have the Backyard Deathmatch Championships. And uh, Golden Girls era Betty White in movie replica Iron Man cosplay armor has been doing an amazing job. Uh, she has been undefeated. Just destroying the likes of Jean Claude Van Damme, of course, our uh, you know Santa Marcus Jackson. Um, she of course killed uh, Pat Sajak twice, which I just ecstatic about. But um, we may have like lost track of her. She may have finally gotten out, um, and in the process, maybe we found a list with your guys's names on it that says. Betty White Murder Fest 2020 World Tour. I'll be totally honest with you. I'm not going to say that Tim released her into the wild to have her murder you guys. And Craiger, there were a bunch of like hearts around your name. So I don't know if she's going to like sex murder you or something, but just, you know, <laughs> just throwing it out there. Just keep an eye out. You know, maybe alert the authorities if you see her. Definitely don't make eye contact with her. I, I, I'm i a little worried for you guys. Um, Yeah, Jordan, she even knows that, like, you're in Texas, so... Ooh, I want to start a straight <laughs> Um, Just be careful. Yeah, you know? Um, That's it. That's all I got. Thanks for, uh, thanks for accepting this call, you know? Um... I'm definitely not hiding in the bunker out of terror. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Okay, well, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Please don't die. Oh, my God. Please don't die. Oh, by the way, this probably just cost you, like, $226. Our collect call thing is, like, crazy. But, uh, yeah, okay. Cheaper than Bye. Please don't die. Yeah, and they're flipping the bill for that, though. Uh, so I like Tim I, just popped in at the end just to say the pricing. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, was I guess... Mur- no, that was still Charlie. That was Charlie the whole yeah, time. I was like, that, that, uh, that was just Charlie. So, so Murder Fest 2020 is happening, and our names are top of the list. So, um, we're you know, we should be a little cautious. I, I live mean, in a gated community, so I think I'm okay. But if she has... I feel uh, like... And I live behind a gate. And <laughs> I, ha- I have a pretty good runner's gate. So, like, I think yeah, we're all yeah. good here. <laughs> I think we're fine. Cam, it's nice. I don't know. I don't know. Here's the problem. Um, t- if Tim did let her loose... I feel Seems like that's not it's not good for Craiger and I no, think No, no, no. Tim would never do that. Tim knows I don't what he's know. doing. Tim, Tim runs a show. Charlie's the irresponsible one. Charlie's the one who's just walking around like, "Oh, my name's Charlie." Oh. <laughs> that's very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like Tim would do something like this because he is a spiteful person. Uh, and I sent him, but a... he wouldn't risk his baby boy's life. Let's Honestly, get, the real, real question is: Where is Betty White going first? Ooh. California or Texas or well, Tahoe? Mm, probably because oh. she goes to Tahoe. She can party and kill Cam. That's true. two birds, one stone. That's true. I I figured she was probably going to Florida first, uh, just to catch up with the girls, and then come back. But I, I don't know. So uh, we should keep an eye out. Maybe she she probably went to Florida first to grab some COVID in a bottle. Yes, because they sell that down there. COVID. <laughs> isn't in that, a isn't it like a Christina Aguilera song? Uh, yeah, COVID and I'm a COVID. Co- in COVID a in a bottle. Got to rub it. Yeah, rub it the right way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's something that we should be looking out for. Thanks for warning us, Charlie. But honestly, when she gets here, I'll just send her back your way. It's fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure Tim's name is on that list too. So you can't you can't hide forever, Tim. Uh, I'll just you, tell her Pat Sajak is back. Yes, Pat She'll Sajak right over is there back. To finish the job. So I also have a few other things I wanted to mention to you guys. Um, I got a gift from friend of the pod Robbie over at the wow. Brew interviews. Did, did you guys see me post about this? I did. Yeah, it was pretty nuts, yeah. man. So here, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it on I'm gonna show it on the pod right now. It is a um, lawn ornament of a giant uh, obese s- obese squirrel. That is obese. So this it is does the, fit in Texas. Like. Yeah, this is the biggest squirrel ever holding a nut. Uh, it's a great lawn ornament, and it's gonna go in my lawn one day when I have a lawn. So thanks, I'm Robbie. Sure I saw that squirrel on uh, my sixty pound life. <laughs> yes. A sixty pound squirrel. Like that <laughs> 60 pound oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Robbie always sends us the best presents. They're always like so random and weird. I love it. They are. It's yeah. great. Um so anyway, he let's move into the presents. first segment of our show real quick here where we're gonna review a beer. Woo! So uh, <laughs> I don't have a f- I don't have a feature to, to, to it's funny because I'm putting this in post production so it's gonna sound fluid but to us it just like cut off real quick. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, we're gonna review a beer here and what is it that you guys got over there? It is the by Keto's Brewing Coffee Cream Ale. Yes, Keto's Brewing brewed, Coffee Cream proud, Ale. Now proudly. Proudly brewed and canned in Salt Lake City, Utah, and it is 4.7% oh, alcohols. Oh, on my untapped, it says 5% alcohol, so it's not accurate on untapped. No. No. Um, and also, so I can read the back of the can if you would like. Yes, tell me. Because you it. know I, I do really good reading on air. So. Because the, <laughs> well, the, only, the only details it gives me on untapped is coffee-flavored cream ale. <laughs> it says, Kitos means thanks in Finnish and is the driving principle behind everything we do here. We're thankful to be able to brew our coffee cream ale using only the finest ingredients. Thankful for a generous planet and providing event that provides them. And thankful for family, friends, and enjoy, to enjoy it with. Our high efficiency system allows us to brew with less water, producing less waste, and less impact to show that to 
show that gratitude every day. This is so sappy. What the heck? <laughs> We're proud to brew in Salt Lake City and proud to say Aikidos. These are definitely Mormons brewing this beer. Yeah, I was going to say that sounds like Utah right there. Uh, <laughs> guys, like, this is, this is that a was goal. definitely a gr- That was definitely a collaboration between all of this man's wives to come up yes. with this. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a golden color, actually. It is It is a uh, nice golden looking color, yet it's it a coffee ale, which is cool. Um, it's delicious. It's it's really good. I had some of these when I was in Utah, and it this is, is actually really delectable. Good. And this, so this warmed up a little bit since it's only got oh, ten good. IBUs, uh, which is cool. And with two thousand seventy <sighs> check ins, it's sitting at a three point eight one on Untapped, which is mm-hmm. not the best, not the worst. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, what do you guys think of the taste? Because see, get- I I really like this because for me, it's like. I think the reason it gets, it gets a low rating is like you got those like psychopathic like and like enema coffee lovers who mm. like oh this doesn't taste enough like coffee and like no this is like a it's a cream ale that has like it's like a nice spritzer of coffee you know it's like it's like a stronger liqueur of coffee but what, beer. what always yeah, trips me it's out like a kind of like an alcoholic frappuccino yeah where it's like not doesn't no. exactly taste like coffee there's hints of coffee in it but it's no, definitely don't a compare because i this morning i just had the paps blue ribbon hard coffee no but that's really good and it, it's good that but it, it a, tastes just like the frappuccino in a glass yeah, bottle thing it's from, too like, sweet but it still is like oh it's five percent so it's so good so here's that the thing though delicious. <laughs> i think it, i think when you get a cream ale with a flavor in it it's cream ale first flavor second which is nice because sometimes you get those coffee beers and they're like way too overpowering but i never trust untapped anymore because i feel like half the time there's people on there that are like i hate coffee flavor 0.25 on coffee cream ale it's like why did you drink a coffee cream ale then you're like that's so stupid pretty much yeah Yeah. i don't i don't like that people vote based off of their preference you need to be voting on their like or rating on their based off of where it lands on what it's supposed to be. So if I hate blueberries, I'm not going to rate a blueberry ale or something. You know, obviously I'm not going to like it. I'll I'll yeah. check in, but I won't rate it because I don't want to well, bring it down just on based off my preference. Yeah. Well, Jordan, yeah. you haven't told us what you think of the beer. Oh, it's so good. It's amazing. No, this is oh, I, I just I just, from, I just gave you I just gave you a cut where you can insert oh, your oh, later. Oh, my bad. Okay, yeah, do, do it again, yes. Craig. Do it again. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> take 2. We're going with take 2. Hold on. <laughs> Jordan, why don't you tell us what you think of the beer? Yeah, after trying it, uh, it's pretty good. It tastes like coffee. It's a light body, like a cream ale. Coffee cream ale. Yeah, pretty much everything Joe and Craig are say is accurate, so good. Wow. Cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so no, that was very uh, insightful. It, it is, like, uh, I. it's really good. It's one of my... Mm, as far as coffee flavor beers go, I think it's definitely the upper echelon because it is mm-hmm. so it's lighter and it's just it's smooth and it's not too overpowering. It's just a nice little something to drink. You can you can it's one of those ones where you can drink several of them and it's not gonna like like really get you all like feeling like bloated and other stuff like that. It's just very yeah. smooth and light. Whereas like most things are like this beer tastes like this. It's like ooh half to three quarters of one. I'm like oh I don't want any more of that. Did it say yeah, what the yeah. IBUs were? Yeah, 10, 10, 10 IBUs. Yeah, I was going to so, say, this thing has to be like near zero. Well, because I was going to say all the IBUs are probably from like the coffee beans they used, and that's yeah. it. Because cream ales have nothing. I had a cream ale once at um, Left Coast Brewing Company in San Clemente, California. You Never all know it. it. You all love it. Um, I had a cream ale there that was a cream ale with gr- uh, green peppers, and it tasted like you were eating green, like when you burped. You burped green peppers like you just ate a bunch of them. It was the weirdest thing ever. It it I don't sounds. Know how I feel why, yeah, about that. I gotta. Why would you want that? No, it sounds gross, but I actually really liked it. I thought it tasted delicious. Huh? Yeah. Are you a I, green pepper fan? I do love green peppers. Actually, they um, are I, good. But you see, at green not, peppers. Like you I guys not, remember at Chi Chi's when you get the green pepper pizza? Oh, they I put just Chi-Chi's. like a, uh, they put like a half of a green pepper just cut in half on it. Oh man, it's oh, so yeah, good. Yeah. Green bell peppers are so good. All right. Anyway, um, guys, I wanted to tell you a little bit of something here. Uh, so tell us, you, you guys recently had an earthquake back in Santa Clarita, a four point two, just outside town. Supposedly, of you. we yeah. did. That, yeah. That's what they say. I have no you, idea. I slept uh, through the entire yeah. thing. <laughs> I, think, I think what happened because I remember waking up and looking at my phone. And it was like a four forty one, and yeah. the earthquake mm-hmm. was like four thirty eight. So I think like the shaking like woke me up like a minute up minute after or maybe like it woke up my dog and then eventually woke me up but like 
I don't know. And then apparently one happened like right as I got to work and I must have like been like just pulling in because I didn't feel that one either. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. So what's funny is, yeah, it happened, what, like at 4.30? 4.38 to be exact. Um, so we're all sleeping and our fire alarm goes off oh. at like one in the morning. <laughs> That's weird. And so we all get up and we're like, what the hell's going on? We tried to get it to turn off. We had to just finally like reset the thing. And then we all went back to sleep, wake up the next morning. Apparently, there was an earthquake that we all slept through. In well, no that's, point, it was that's so point. California is that uh, we all sl- unless the earthquake happens midday, you sleep through it most of the time. Like, yeah. I rarely get woken up by them. Ooh, the ground is shaking. <laughs> Ooh, <they do. laughs> um, but you know what's weird? Ooh. I couldn't escape Mother Nature because the same day for me, this giant lightning storm came out of nowhere. Literally all day, beautiful. Went to bed, beautiful. And then at 11 p.m., this lightning storm and downpour rain starts happening and lasted for like an hour with like huge gusts of wind and then went away. And I was like, Sounds okay. Like- Sounds like you missed a perfect chance to recharge your flux capacitor, nerd. I know I should have. But here's the other thing is today we heard a weird alarm going off outside and it's the tornado warning system. And I guess every at noon on every first Saturday of every month, they do a test for like a minute. But it was just so weird. I'm like, this is what is happening? <laughs> what is that? I feel sound? like that's something they should say when you move in <laughs> yeah right like just warn you <laughs> hey you're gonna By hear this once a month <laughs> we have a te- we test the tornado warning once a month so if you hear it and it's the first saturday don't freak out yeah because i'm like looking outside i'm like it looks clear out but i is like there's not a cloud in the sky what do they know that i don't know <laughs> yeah well, what's happening someone text and talk to me <laughs> i think i can speak for every californian out there i would much rather deal with the ground shaking every couple years than like tornadoes hurricanes and like no i'll tell you what where i'm at where i'm at in texas more earthquakes happen than tornadoes touch the ground out here so technically you're getting more Especially recently, I feel like we've been having a lot of tor- uh, a lot of uh, earthquakes lately back in the Santa Clarita area. I feel like we've in this past year gotten hit with like three or four that are pretty noticeable, and that's just twenty twenty. Also, I but, mean, but it, it, it should be po- it should be noted they're not in the Santa Clarita area. They originate in other areas. We but just you are able feel, to feel it them. in Santa yes. Clarita. Not one has originated in Santa Clarita, to my knowledge, this year. Aren't small earthquakes supposed to be like a normal thing, though? Yes, we want smaller. Earth- we want smaller. Smaller earthquakes. earthquakes are good because it's le- as opposed to like pressure. imagine like imagine mm-hmm. like the pressure slowly, slowly, slowly building, and then like if it goes for too long without ha- anything happening, it's gonna be a bigger one. Whereas it's like small little. It's like if you got a fart real bad, the little. little burp, well, I as think opposed more, to one, the more you hold it and hold it, it's, it's going to be like, oh. you're just going to shit your pants. Um, well, I think the common misconception is that, yes, I think that uh, in California, every day there's like seven earthquakes that are all like under two magnitudes. So you don't feel them. And I think that's what's good for letting off pressure. I think when you start getting into the fours, that's let it, that some people think, oh, that's like an early sign that it's going to have a big one. But I think some people are also like, no, that's not true because there's no statistics that show there is a pattern. So I don't know. Um, I think that, you know, you do what you got to do and, and and there you go. Yeah. Let, let a little bit of the fart out, Mother Nature. I just saw some, the Richter scale also applies to penis sizes too. <laughs> Why? Uh, one to two and not, like nothing really happens three to four okay it's starting to get bigger <laughs> five to six that's like that's like you're starting to feel it. like eight nine ten like that's gonna fuck you up real bad yeah yeah you're gonna be buried <laughs> at a ten <laughs> all right guys um let's talk about our uh hashtag problem here All right, guys. So, what is your hashtag problem for this week? Mm. Um, so, I had a little bit of a hashtag problem, like shortly before leaving my house to come over here. Um, I picked oh, up d- diarrhea. I picked up, no, I picked up. My, <laughs> <laughs> I picked broke up my, the squatty potty. <laughs> <laughs> we actually do have a squatty potty in the house. Those yeah, things are those things it. are great. <laughs> 
They're pretty good. Um, they yeah. work. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, clean you out. <laughs> um, so I uh, I was getting ready to leave. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm going to bring up my new ukulele that I bought, and I'll bring it over because Joe is a jammer. So, like, we can jam together, you know? And um, so I pick it up, and I'm like getting it because ukuleles get out of tune very easily, and because it's brand new, um, it, it's going to take a little bit of time for the strings to really retain their tune. They're going to mm-hmm. go out of tune very easily. So I was like, I was tuning it, and I was strumming a little bit, and then all of a sudden, I strum all of a sudden, and I see and feel a little blah, blah, blah. a freaking full size cockroach was inside there oh. and hopped out Ooh. while I was playing. That's we, we have a we have a bug issue at my place dun, and it's dun, dun. and it was it was a big motherfucker and I was just like oh sh- just oh I, I, it didn't touch me but like the fact that, like that happened like. It's it's like a freaking alien, like just out of my butt. Yeah, that's oh, that's no good. Cockroaches, cockroaches in your ukulele are very. Roaches are. <laughs> roaches, you scared him. <laughs> what is that? That was laughing. But it's like, what is that? <laughs> uh, well, that's actually we have a lot of we obviously in Texas. There's a lot of big bugs out here too. So I feel you. I found a cockroach oh, outside our Not door. Frogs. No, the frogs are tiny, <laughs> but the bugs are huge. Uh, very weird. I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, I feel you, man. Those big cockroaches, they are gross. Oh, Do not like God. them. Cockroaches are disgusting. Oh, also, also hashtag problem. Our landlord's like putting the house on the market. And he's like, oh, I'm going to... I'm going to put it on the market, but I'm going to try and get a, the new landlord to purchase it. You guys can stay here while well, someone's like about to go into escrow with it. And they come and check out the house. And um, we're just talking to them like, oh, yeah, no, we're planning a movie when we buy it. And we're like, oh, so uh, we might have to find a new place in a couple months. That cool. sucks. Oh, and you dumb. just moved there too, Craig, wasn't it like I mean, four months ago? It was March, so all, pretty much all March, April, May, June, July. So about five months. Five months. Four or five months. Four or five months. Man, yeah. that's a bummer. That's so a huge bummer. So probably by, if it goes if it goes quickly, I'll probably have to be out by October-ish. If it goes slower, probably October, November. But yeah. So if Hey, you I know a place you could rent for uh, 1975 over in Valencia <laughs> at the Madison's. <laughs> if, if, if the economy wasn't so terrible. I, I really would love to. I would love to like do that. Uh, like if I, yeah, if if I was able to afford that and have like someone to do that with me, that would be yeah. ideal. But yeah, Ellie, Ellie really isn't bringing in the scratch. No, lately, you know, so. Ellie really needs to pick up the slack over there. She needs she to yeah. start yeah. pull her own weight around. Yeah, right? yeah, terrible. Um, adorable dog though. Adorable, but not <laughs> making enough money. So, nope. Joe, what's your hashtag problem? Um. A fire alarm woke me up in the middle of the night. <laughs> well, there you go. That's that's a big problem. <laughs> Apart from that, nothing else though, huh? Uh, no, not really. Life's well, good. I have a ton of hashtag Even in problems. Quarantine. I have a ton yeah, of hashtag on problems. Boards. Well, since the last time I saw you, obviously the move happened, and I won't bore everyone here because I have a whole episode that's an hour long of recounting how many problems happened. So you can go listen to that if you want. But what I am going to tell you, kind of sad back in town where you guys are at, I heard that Mount Asia is might be closing. They're really close no, to closing down. That, that, that doesn't surprise me at all. I know. No, but I, that's, Why are you sad about that? It's like, be, when was the last time you were there? But it's just like the nostalgia thing. I'm like, <laughs> I wanted to stay there forever so I know that like the place that I used so to that love to go. So that your kids in Texas can go? Yeah, I mean, exactly. <laughs> I, exactly. That place is cool. The, I think the last time I was there was with you um, and Cam, right? When we uh, we went with the ladies, oh yeah, we and then I I, I showed I showed all the, the girl cages. I showed all the girlfriends who is the best uh, physical specimen at baseball. Oh okay, ball. all right Put, over putting there, putting wood on balls, Mister Mister Cocksmith. Uh, so, I'm a coxman. Yeah, um, but I'm a little sad that Mount Asia is closing because I'm like yeah, that was such freaking, a big part of our childhood. Yeah, it's like, dude, where's my Mount Asia? Yeah, exactly. What are they gonna put there? Another <laughs> simply discount furniture? What's gonna happen? <laughs> I did walk right into a pole while mini golfing there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What did you just like not uh, see it? <laughs> well, no. So it was one of those like half poles. Oh, okay. And so I hit it. It did really good. And I don't remember even what I was saying. I was talking to my friends Kyle and Jackie, and then I just turn around and just crotch shot at this <laughs> pole oh. right halfway through. That's no good. Oh, That's man. no good. Um, I mean, like, that, that place has memories. Like, Dude, Where Was My Car was filmed there. Yes. Stuff like that, there know? was an episode of Next, MTV's Next, filmed there. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Wasn't that also filmed near your house? I've had multiple. Like, next door to you? Wait, what? When you lived in, like, Sand Canyon, wasn't that show filmed, like, at a house that was next door to you? Next? 
Yeah. No, um, you're thinking of or when you uh, were in, Val- in Valencia. Uh, Arrested Development um, was filmed right by my parents' house in San Canyon. The block they're on oh. was used for exterior shots of the fourth season of Arrested Development. Um, so that that was there, but not Next. I don't think Next ever got filmed out there. Um, but you know how it is in Santa Clarita. Everything's filmed out there. Everything it's, gets filmed everywhere. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, guys, let's talk about some Patreon questions because I have quite a few of them. Do it. I mean, they we right. just got a question. We just got a question. We just got a question. It's from Patreon. My leg. Um, so I just realized <laughs> when I play these things, it's delayed coming to you guys because it finished for me like a good two seconds before Craiger said my leg at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my word. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to sound wizard, in a wizard, post-production. A wizard always arrives when he means to. He's yes. never early nor late. <laughs> there you go. Craiger is a wizard. Um, so guys, our first question is from the Brew Interviews, and it says, Nerds. assuming Cam, Joe, and Craiger are single in this scenario, you you, Jordan, that's me, must set them each up on a blind date with a famous person that you think matches up with them the best. Not who the guys think is the hottest and most attractive, but who fits their personalities the best. Ooh, so this got put like on me this. to come up with this. I'm either gonna I'm either gonna like love you or just like wanna kick you in the nards. Wait, should we be thinking about what we would place for each other as well? No, no it just asked what I just, 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 just It's just me. It just asked what who which celebrities I would hook you guys up with on a blind date. And I no, was that's what got me thinking. Well, because like, like everyone, I'm very open about who mine would be. So like, well, well who that's would the thing, be? It may not be who. I can't you hold think on. I can't be. tell you because you need to be bipartisan about your answer. No, I already have my answer written down, so you can tell me. Oh, Margot then, Robbie, hands down, ten out of ten would write. Okay, again. but, the, but <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing. I'm not supposed to say who is the most attractive that you guys. I, it's supposed to be who no, I, I think know, personality but like, I, wise. I feel like I, yeah, I like I like I like, I like uh, foreign accents unless you're southern and like just go. Sleep well, that's with your not sister. You know, Craig, I don't. That's I don't still think America. Margot, I don't think Margot Robbie plays Xbox. That's okay. No, she's a PlayStation <laughs> girl. <laughs> that's fine. I can switch. There you go. No, no I did. That's Nintendo. You're still wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I don't know. Like personality, I actually like. I feel like Jennifer Lawrence and I would probably get along pretty well. <laughs> Craiger, I match you <laughs> with Jennifer Lawrence. Yes! yes. I said someone quirky and fun would be good for Craig, yes! so I gave you I'm Jennifer so Lawrence. Down. Yes, that's oh. so funny that you picked that. She's on my. She's on my top five. So <laughs> there like, you go. Well, J-Lo. I set you up on. A, she should be. I called her. To, I said, "Hey, Craig needs a set. Needs someone to be set up with. Here you go. Uh, you guys are meeting at the McDonald's down the yeah. street. Well, at unfortunately, today. though, Betty White found her first. So uh, that don't you is now dare canceled. hold your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> hold your tongue." <laughs> So that's no. funny, Craiger, that you picked the person I picked for you. <laughs> she's in my yeah, she's in my top five. So I was like, yeah, quirky, funny personality. I like it's really good. And hey, Jennifer Lawrence, if you're ever uh, listening to this, uh, oh, she's an avid listener. On? She's she's yeah, reached out to me. She's she, she asked sent me, me fam. I've actually had me, to like hold her back because it's like yeah, it's like she yeah, got like, really I like, upset I like with a, me. She got really upset with me because she's like, "Why haven't you covered Passengers yet? That awesome movie I do with Chris Pratt that I love people hot people in space. Uh, I actually like Passengers. <laughs> I've it's never a great seen movie. it. I don't know. It's hot people in sp- <laughs> it's hot people in space. It is. Yeah. It's it's, uh, it's hot people in space. So for Joe, Joe, <laughs> for Joe, I was thinking I need to find someone hmm. who likes Pokemon. <laughs> and I feel like she needs to have a little bit of a crazy side to her, like maybe been in rehab once or twice. I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking Margot Robbie is Harley Quinn. No, <laughs> I went, I went Demi Lovato for Joe. Oh yeah, because she's, she's a huge Pokemon. She's a huge Pokemon fan, and she does have that crazy side to her. But she's normal. Yeah, she she's very mentally time. unstable. Yeah, she's Wait, normal she's most of the time. Why do I get the mentally unstable person? <laughs> because that means she's probably good in bed. Because Joe, I feel like you would like that. Stable people could also be good in bed. That's true. I'm I'm pretty stable. So, I am fantastic in bed. If yeah. you don't believe me, come find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you can just you can just watch him sleep, and then you'll know how Craig is in bed. Uh, <laughs> so, Joe, I gave you Demi Lovato. Uh, that's it, musician. Yeah, and you guys would be cool for the summer. So there you go. That's a I'm song by her, by the way. If you didn't know, oh, I didn't get that. <laughs> Delayed uh, getting. Yeah, and then so Cam, he's not here, but I did hook him up with someone, 
And I think this is his number one anyway, but I'm like, this is who I have to give it because Cam, I need to the fulfill mom, the, the mom from the water boy. No, I, Kathy, <laughs> Kathy Bates. Bates. Kathy Bates. <laughs> she probably, I had, film. I had to fulfill uh, Cam's emo sad boy fantasies and uh, set him up with Haley Williams. So I figured yeah, that, he would like the, that. Would their per- I don't know if their person mm, actually, I think sh- they'd mesh. I, I I think their pretentiousness would match pretty well. Yeah, and I think fi- I think but she's I think pretty. That's where they would clash. I no, think but she's I pretty think vocal I th- about uh, social justice warrior stuff too. Is she not? No, I I think no? I think they're too dominant of um, mm, personalities. I, I, I need to pick a beta w- for him. Is like, what you're saying, right? <laughs> he needs a little bit of a beta because he's like he he's. I wouldn't classify him as a full alpha, but he's like a falfa. <laughs> He's alfalfa. <laughs> alfalfa or, or rascals. <laughs> no, he has a very strong personality, but he also, like, I wouldn't say, because I would consider full alpha can never be a beta. I feel like he can be a beta if it calls for it in certain situations. Yeah, like his current relationship. All right, so moving oh! on to the next. <laughs> just kidding. Corey. Just kidding. Cool. Um, I have a, I have a, I have a question here from Tim France of the Elite Eight Showdown podcast. He Hi, Dad. says, He says, what or who have I missed the most since I moved, and why is it Craiger? <laughs> uh, moving on from that one, we have. Oh, come on. Wait, what is. What? what? No, he's going to say, forget, I miss you. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can get this quote almost exact verbatim. Yeah. I miss everyone equally. No, 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 uh, but no forget about the people. What have you missed since moving? Okay. Has there I, been anything that you I missed? really miss the Habit Burger because they don't have that out here. Um, really? Yes, they don't have really? that. But we do That's have a, a shame. That we have habits. A, I know we have an In and Out, which is fine. Whatever. And what is better than In and Out? Habit is better than In and Out. Uh, we I had what a burger, and what a burger <laughs> wasn't bad. I was fine with it. You don't think the Habit is better than In and Out? Habit Overall, is way better as a than restaurant. In-N-Out. It's better, but as far as I would, I would rather eat In and Out burger over a Habit. Nah, burger. you're stupid. No. <laughs> nope, I would rather take a Habit Burger. Habit Burger, Get you can't beat it. Get me a Santa Barbara mm. char. Mm. Mm, yeah, you can't beat a I'm, Habit I'm, Burger, man. <laughs> if we're comparing rest, if we're pe- comparing establishment to establishment, Habit wins. Yes, always. And so, burger to burger. Habit wins. Nope, not burger to burger. If you're comparing not burger to burger. a double double to a double char, double char wins. Yeah, also fries it prob- to fries. It probably listen. It probably is. A, it is definitely a better quality burger, but it does not taste as good as an out. Oh, it opinion. totally tastes. And that is better. my opinion. That is yeah. my opinion. I agree Zip with it. Jordan. Suckle on my zipple. Oh, he don't. Missed. Great. Now I, have to, now I have to put an E up on the video. Uh, you should totally blur it out for like a little out. black yeah. bar. <laughs> I, I, wish, I wish I could remember. No, give me a pasty. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So put Charlie's the, face. Put Charlie's face. Oh, I, put, I will put Charlie's face there. Here's the third. And just Tim licking. Oh. <laughs> no. No. Because that'll make Tim mad. I'm not, I'm not Tim that mad. good at Photoshop, guys. Here's the third <laughs> and final Patreon question. It's from Marissa who has supplied us with some beers recently. She actually is very studious and wrote me yesterday, which was July 31st, and said, I want to get my question for August early. So here's her question. She says, it's a little on the darker side of nostalgia, but I'm a true crime. She's very dark. Okay. Uh, she says no. She's like true... she watches all like the like the murder <laughs> mystery. Oh yeah. Serial That's killer, what she says like, here. Stuff. Is that she's a true crime well, slash serial killer. There is a killer. lot of sun in Las Vegas. Nevada. Yes. Nevada. She says Nevada. she's a true crime serial killer documentary know, addict, <laughs> and she wants to know: Is there any one serial killer or true crime investigation that you guys followed slash currently follow? That's movies, podcasts, research, anything, and why does that one interest you? So, is there anything on the true crime serial killer docket that you guys are a fan of right now? Um, right now I've heard a lot of good things about the Epstein one and, um, mm. professional casuals doing something. So I didn't want to watch it. And Epstein one is follow, great, by the way, follow along with, um, the Epstein stuff. Um, the only one I've actually seen was, uh, the OJ Simpson one that uh, mm-hmm. I think FX did. Yeah. The um, uh, OJ that, versus the, the people. Yeah. That one, that one was really, really interesting and good. And I, I really like that one. So the second well, one is good too. The assassination of Versace. Yeah, Ooh, I haven't mm-hmm. seen that one. But so I, I'd say the only one I have actually like invested in seen is that one. I have heard really good stuff about the Zodiac movie with um. Oh, dude, you haven't watched Zodiac? You no, need to watch that and movie I think, now. No, I think you had the same reaction. So I think I will put that on my list to do. It's on Netflix show. too, I think. Still. Oh well, then I will. I will. I will flick. Dude, it up, bro, cast is amazing. Story is amazing. It's a great movie. I think it's a David Fincher film, if I'm correct. Uh, I'm, I can't Isn't remember that a off bug? the top of my head. 
The what? Isn't that a bug? A fincher? No. <laughs> Is it a bug? I don't know. But David pincher Fincher. Bug. Uh, oh, a pincher bug. No. Um, I think David Fincher did it, possibly. So, yeah, Joe, what about you? You on that true crime choo-choo train? Um, mm-hmm. Kind of, but there's never there was never, like, one specific person that I followed. I always thought Charles Manson was very interesting mm-hmm. on how he was mm-hmm. able to, like, manipulate these people and get them to do certain things with, you know. That, I've always thought that was weird. Yeah, um, Manson's Manson's called, an interesting one. Yeah, there's a book called Helter Skelter. Oh yeah, I know Helter over. Skelter. Yeah, and a um, Beatles so a Beatles song, <laughs> and a Beatles song. Yeah, so um, always thought that was interesting. But other than that, there's you know kind of like the show Forensic Files where they mm. go through like different murders or different yes. things and and the forensics of how it happened or how they were able to figure it out. I get more interested in that kind of stuff. Rather than like following or going through one specific mm-hmm. serial killer, like a, like Gacy yeah. or you know Dahmer. Did you watch? Did you watch like the Ted Bundy? Did you watch the Ted Bundy movie that Zac Efron was in? Uh, the extremely actually, vile whatever. I didn't watch the Zac Efron one, but I watched the one that actually came out before that on Netflix. It was like the uh, the hidden interview tapes with oh Ted yeah Bundy. Mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. one where it was actually like the real stuff not like the dramatization honestly the dramatization is pretty close to the real stuff side by side it's huh. kind well, of i haven't seen it it's kind of crazy um so personally for me recently what i've been watching the most is i watched Breonna taylor uh, Bri- no, yeah justice for brianna taylor um no i watched the keepers recently which is about the uh catholic church um and some shadiness going on there and then i also watched the staircase have you guys heard of that one about the guy whose wife was dead in a staircase and they thought that he murdered her and then they it was like it's over like 14 years this documentary takes place it's insane it's on netflix it's amazing just like fall through the stairs so i'm not going to tell you anything because that'll take away from watching it but it is an amazing it's long it's very long but it documents like 14 years of a story which is pretty cool and then the other one um that my wife is really into is you guys ever heard of the Iceman killer um no so there's a movie called Iceman, um and and it's about him and uh hold on hold on insert top gun joke (laughs) (laughs) that's funny that's a good joke um but no she's really into that and it's a very interesting story and i watched some of like i she watched because she loves the forensic file stuff too so i've seen some like interviews with him and all that so i mean but honestly the staircase and the keepers are like the two big ones and then everyone knows like tiger king is real popular right now and then i am a what is it i'm a killer was that the one on netflix that everyone freaked out about about oh no oh no the making a murderer making of a murderer yeah that that one I didn't care I never for that saw one that yet. one, but I heard I heard it was good. I never I never saw. Yeah, it I didn't care life. too much about it, but uh, it was fine. Um, but yeah, OJ versus yeah. the People is a great dramatization one, of a true crime. Yeah, so that's something well, everyone that, should check out. Um, so there's OJ versus the People. Is that the American crime that's story? F- or F- it yes, is? the FX one. Yeah, ESPN has a documentary about it too. Ooh, um, which is. About what? There is no dramatization about um, the OJ case. Oh, yeah. I heard that one's and like, that got like awards and stuff. Yeah. It like yeah. It's supposed to be match. extremely accurate. They did a ton of research, a ton of mm. interviews. That one's no dramatization in that. It's just a complete recap of everything, and it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these these things, they're like a, kind of a dime a dozen these days. Um, there's a yeah. lot of really good ones. So you really have a, a big, like, pool to pick from a plethora a plethora it is i always find myself uh just getting more interested in like the cult stuff yeah like waco i loved that show that was great the the whole idea of how a cult can happen is so crazy cool um jamestown like yeah drink the kool-aid all that stuff yeah i agree speaking of conspiracies and stuff like that guys i have a conspiracy corner for you let me uh do this All right, so um, uh, here's my conspiracy corner for you guys. Did you know the um, this song right here? I'm going to play for you guys. So 
that's a popular song that's played on ice cream trucks, and we all know it. Like, do 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 do. Like, there, people put lyrics to it and stuff like that. But it's known for being the ice sure. cream truck song, right? For like a really long time. So I'm sure a lot of people have heard the song. But have you guys seen the thing that it's a racist song actually? No. No. Okay. Let me tell you why. So its origins are a little bit crazy. Um, this song, especially this version, I didn't let it play to the lyrics because uh, not good. This song is literally called <laughs> yeah. This song is literally called N Word Loves a Watermelon. Ha ha ha. That's the name of the song. It was recorded in Holy nineteen crap. yeah nineteen sixteen by a guy named Harry C Brown. Um, the lyrics. F you Brown. Yeah, the lyrics Jeez. are literally the most racist things you'll ever hear. Yeah, tons of stereotypical <laughs> racist it's, slurs and yeah. stuff. It's they very, they gotta use say the, was not prepared for this. <laughs> no, they use the N word shamelessly in this song, and and so you know Harry C. Brown is Jeez. a white guy. He is a white guy, so it's not What's like the you name know, of the song. Uh, the like, name you just said. I just said N word loves watermelon. watermelon. Ha ha ha. Oh, I thought that was just like a lyric from it. It is a lyric, that's but like it's the also name the name of the song. Yes, that's the name of the song. Oh um, Holy crap. Now, ha- Harry C. Brown actually stole the melody from another song called Turkey in the Straw. Um, and then he added a bunch of racist lyrics to so it. Now, please tell me Turkey in the Straw is less racist. It is. The, Turkey, Wait, in so the straw Turkey in the Straw is the, OG. Is the original? Turkey in the Straw is the original melody. This okay. song it didn't oh, become it didn't he, become popular with people until the 1916 version that Harry C. Brown did. So before people. Turkey in a Straw was only sung by Scottish and Irish immigrants, it was like a song that they could add Scottish lyrics and to. Irish are woke. Well, it, it's yeah, Scot- it's like a drinking song, a pub song. Yeah, you could add lyrics well, to it, and do do yeah, you just it's easy to add lyrics to, and you depicted whatever was happening. So it was like jamming back in the day for them, you know, kind of like that. So Bra- Brown's version depicts how watermelon is the black man's ice cream, which is why it gets associated with ice cream trucks to this day. Yep, it's kind of crazy that like oh, this. I just this, feel I just feel dirty. Well, right you now. know what's funny? It surprises me how many things actually have their foundation in kind of a racist area because let's be honest you know it there was a lot of what time this country was founded on yeah there was a lot of time <laughs> oh before God. the the 21st century where we're kind of getting away from that kind I just, of i mean um, i get one from of. dinner different like times generations but like it just it doesn't process in my brain however like that can just be like commonly normal. Like it just yeah. it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, me neither. It's a little crazy. So there you go. There is a little conspiracy slash origin of a song that everyone knows and I guess loves, but maybe not anymore. I think we can still love Turkey in the Straw. We can still love that. We can love we, the melody. No, you basically just ruined ice cream trucks, Jordan. No, like, just love ice cream. Yeah, ice cream's great. Don't don't go to the truck. Just go to get an ice cream. Just don't get a watermelon flavored ice cream. Oh, yeah, ex- watermelon flavored ice cream is so good. That would be disgusting. It's that sounds watermelon. Oh, that sounds so gross. Uh, All right, guys, you ready to talk about? No, I'm, it's I'm, so good. Have you ever taken watermelon, like the actual fruit watermelon, and then just froze it? Yeah, but that's not that's, that's not watermelon that's just called a red ice cream. cream. That's, that's a just, red ice cube. That's just watermelon. It's a, it's being a red LaCroix ripped. ice cube. Yeah, but still, watermelon ice cream is still good. A water, I'm calling that watermelon is overrated. It keeps you hydrated. Ooh. It That's does. true. Wicked, wicked. Charlie, Charlie talked about that. He did talk about <laughs> how he showed I have watermelon in the fridge right now. We can eat. Did you guys oh, know? I would rather. I would rather eat stuff. Than All right. He'd rather eat a taquito from Seven Eleven. Did you guys know that watermelon? When you cut into it, you're not supposed to refrigerate it. You're still supposed to leave it out because it it uh, more vitamins and nutrients can grow when it's room temperature, even when it's cut. You're also supposed huh. to slap the watermelon too. Oh, to see whether it's a good watermelon oh, yeah. or not? It's a little bit of... Oh, yeah. Little... All right, then. Guys, you ready to talk about what we're stoked on this week? <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, you like that watermelon, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the watermelon's wet already. <laughs> While we haven't heard or seen it, there was something to perceive in the whole time that hype gave us something to believe. All we chose to focus emphasis, we're forming a hypothesis, but all we really know is that we're stoked on this, stoked on this. We gotta figure out a way to not sexual have this delay. watermelon. Yeah, we so gotta find out a way this. not to have this delay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. All right, guys, Craig, are you start us off. What are you stoked on this week? You had you said you had I a very excitable one. I'm stoked on multiple things now. Uh-huh. Thank you. Um, numero uno, Umbrella Academy season two drops. So I, I just restarted watching season one again because I want to rewatch mm. it and then watch season two. How far are you oh in my season gosh. two? I've been. 
I restarted rewatching season one too. I'm on the last episode of season. I Ooh. fell asleep about like 15 minutes in because I was tired. But um, a few things already. Like there are a few like there are a few special effects and other things about the first part that I've watched so far uh-huh. that seemed a bit rushed and not. Full effort. It seems like a, there was already some stuff that's like 85% done, and that makes me very nervous for the rest of the season. I don't know. <clears throat> Sometimes it could just be they ran out of budget, too, or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. COVID. I, I, here's the thing. Rewatching the first season, the CGI wasn't that great to begin with, so I think you got to just like give it a little bit of leniency. Okay. I will do that. Yeah. Um, numero dos. Um, I was just minding my own business like a normal person and then like update from Amazon. Hey, deal of the days are here. I'm all like, I'll give it a gander. And so I checked it out and like one of the top ones was like a mattress, a cooling mattress cover. I'm like, I'm a hot person. Like by temperature, <laughs> temperature wise, not o- by lips. Only with one T, not with two T's. <laughs> yes, exactly. He's I'm hot. only like, I'm not, not a hot, T hot. and a half. No, I'm like yeah. <laughs> capital H, capital O, capital T, lowercase T. Okay. Um, <laughs> He's um, not so- H-A-W-T-T. <laughs> No, oh, I wish. <laughs> um, so I I, I I sleep very hot, so like anything I can do for cooling, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And so I looked at I'm like, eh, I'm not sure I feel about it. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do diligently, and I Googled like t- best mattress covers for cooling and other stuff like that. And like so this one like hit a lot of different boxes. It wasn't the most expensive. It wasn't the cheapest. It was like it was like the ba- it was like the solid one out of the, the top ten. And so I click on it. It was only like 40 bucks on Amazon. I'm like, that's not terrible. I know kind of yeah. rejuvenates your like sleeping stuff, like mattress and like your sleeping the mattress, stuff, but like the giblets, <laughs> 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 your wedding tackle. Um, so I, and then I was like, you know, I want to look up some reviews. So I scrolled down and the first thing that pops up, you know how when it was like, Oh, you buy this, this and this together. People always do that. And it's nice. And I'm all like, it was the mattress cover. So it was a bamboo mattress. It was a ba- bamboo mattress pad cover that like is waterproof, but also like is cooling with the bamboo stuff and also a little bit of cushiness. And then underneath it was bamboo sheets. And then underneath that was hotel luxury antimicrobial pillows. And I'm all like, oh, those sound really good. And they're all like, Craig, I'm gonna be nervous. I w- I'm not nervous about Betty White finding you. I'm nervous about a panda finding you and <laughs> just <laughs> eating all that bamboo. All that bamboo. I got. I gotta say though, because you know, like sheets. I I've learned as an adult. Nice sheets are expensive as fork. Like, yeah, it's crazy. It's true. true. And so I got mattress cover. Great, like high quality. Like I slept in them last night for the first time. So comfortable, like cooling and everything, but also like comfortable, feel very high quality. And the pillows are pretty nice too. And like all that was like a little over a hundred bucks. Like I was like, that's a steal. Like, cause nice sheets are like a hundred or more usually. So like. It was, it was, I was pretty happy. And like, so I was like cooling mattress cover, cooling sheets and nice pillows. And I slept like a baby. Nice. Yeah. I love, uh, cause we did the move out here is the first time we've owned a king bed and we got a really nice oh, mattress but, and see, see for me, if I'm going to buy a new mattress, I'm going to invest in a purple. Cause the purple just seems like the we best essentially, thing out there right Well, now. we essentially got, uh, it's like a different brand, but it's essentially like purple. So it's like the very no, cause cushy. Purple has their own technology of like the, the, the won't crack an egg on. I want, yeah, that. it's like my the, roommate has one and it's awesome. It's very cushy. It's, just so expensive. it's cooling. It's very nice. Um, yeah, What'd I like it. What what did I get? Yeah, what what brand? I'm I don't curious, remember. I, I, I honestly don't remember what the brand was. Uh, do you guys remember that the store next to Best Buy out by you? It's called Better Mattress. Yes, we got one. Yeah. of Yeah. So during dur- when we were there during uh, the whole COVID thing, they were having half off on their mattresses. So we got like a twenty four hundred. Thanks for telling the rest of yeah. us, Jordan. We got a twenty four hundred dollar mattress for like a thousand dollars, pretty much. F you. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. No, why don't you tell other people about that? Well, it's their sign outside says it. <laughs> That's why we <laughs> I live in Castaic. I don't go over there. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Sorry. Okay, now you know. They probably still have it going on right now. <laughs> nah, I just spent a hundred bucks on stuff. I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so betting betting stuff uh can really make or yeah, break. It was no, because like I've been wanting a new mattress, but like my mattress isn't bad or, or anything. It's just like I want a new like cool mattress, but I'm, like so this is a nice little like reprieve, you know? Yes. So, and, and I, also, like, the biggest thing is, like, sheets are really expensive. These are, like, cooling bamboo nice sheets that were $40. That's that's huge. That was huge for me. That was yeah, the that's, biggest Yeah, that's point. pretty dang cheap for really nice sheets because when we were like, shopping I'm telling for you, like, sheets, they, they're they expensive. They feel really, really good. Like, as far as sheets go, it's like, oh, they're nice. What's, what's the thread count on bamboo? <laughs> <laughs> Four pandas. Nice. Uh, Joe, what are you stoked <laughs> on this week? 
a few things as well. <laughs> if you go to OtterBox, you'll now get an Echo Dot with Baby Yoda ears. I know you sent that, and it's so cool looking. <laughs> it actually looks really cute. Um, other than that, a couple things that I had mentioned on our Patreon content last week. So if you're not a Patreon member, you didn't hear it, which is why you should be a Patreon member. Um, obviously, as Krager said, Umbrella Academy 2 all, uh, is already out. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're getting The Boys Season 2 coming soon. Yes! And then yes! it's already been confirmed that Season 3 is going to be coming as well. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, yes! We have now the new dates for all the future Star Wars films that are coming out. December mm-hmm. 22nd of 2023, mm-hmm. as well as December 19th of 2025, December 17th of 2027. That's pretty cute. Oh, Who knows so what that's going to be about? So cute. Probably, hopefully, uh, something about the Old Republic. Oh, I wish. That yeah, would be that'd awesome. be super cool. And then, other than that, Donald Glover is returning as Lando Calrissian yes. for his own Disney Plus series. Ho- and uh, Disney Plus is also coming out with the animated series, The Bad Batch, for anyone who yes. watched the last yes. season yes. So good. of The Clone Wars. Can't wait for that. I'm hoping that the Lando thing is going to be the uh, Calrissian Chronicles. Because he kind of, like, in Solo, when he was like, Calrissian Chronicles, log, whatever. I'm like, how cool would that be if they did, like, a thing where it just recounted all his adventures throughout yeah. his young life and everything, leading up to, like, Bespin oh, and yeah, everything. because you know he had some crazy adventures. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm crazy. super stoked on that. Uh, crazy. Guys, I have some things. Are you done, Joe, or you have a little bit more? Uh, we can go. That's good. Uh, okay. It works for me. <laughs> so, have you guys heard on Netflix that show The Old Guard? Yeah, uh, I the watched one. the movie. Oh, how was it? Oh, it's a movie, not a TV show. I wanted I wa- to, it's the movie. a movie. It Is looks it good cool. because I it looks the movie. cool. Oh, Joe, it Joe. was so freaking entertaining. I, oh, I had okay, so good. much fun watching it. Okay, I good. thought you were about to say it was. Bad. I know. I thought he was going to say it's bad too. <laughs> okay. No, it was actually. Oh. Uh, I mean, it's a kind of your what Cam would call your blow up y bang bang action movie. Yeah, but yeah. It's entertaining. I mean, it's fun. I figured I'm that's what it would be. If I'm hoping they make a sequel. I had fun watching it. I thought it was great. I'm excited to see that. Yeah, the sequel will be called The Older Guard. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) I guess. (laughs) If they make a baseball one, they call The Cinder Guard. Okay. Uh, I don't don't get that. There's a baseball player's last name, Cinder Guard, and he looks like Thor. Ah, gotcha. Speaking of Thor, did you watch his movie, Extraction? No, I haven't yet. That's a Russo Brothers movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. I need to check it out. That one's entertaining as well. The the Russos can do no wrong. No, it's very true. Another thing I finished here, um, Upload on Amazon Prime. (gasps) I love Upload. Okay, shout out out to shout out to Daddy of the Show, Cole Fenn Enterprises. Yeah, he recommended like he just straight up private messaged me like I think I said this months ago. He's like, we have similar like injury like uh. We like the same show. He's like, you should watch this. I liked it. You would like it too. I freaking love that show. So mm-hmm. it's so funny for upload. We put on the first episode just as a whim. Ended up watching the entire season in that one night. Yeah, yes. well, it's kind of short. It's only happens. they're twenty it's short. It's twenty minute episodes, ten episodes. It's not bad. What's the yeah. coolest part about this show is that it's by Greg Daniels, creator of The Office. I love, I love that Greg Daniels is doing something good after but because Space Force was not good. Um, so Space it's, Force was above average. Was nah, like it was not good. Average. So it's nice to it see. It was slightly above average. It was you nice to see turd. a show that Greg Daniels did that was one dramatic two was actually really funny as well it was hilarious yeah <laughs> and what i'm stoked on is season two is happening it's been renewed for a it, second oh, season I'm, which i'm yes. glad because they yes. it was a huge cliffhanger well, the way the it end. ended yeah. it has to have a yeah it was oh, a huge absolutely. cliffhanger also also shout out to the amel the mel cousin they're uh, like robbie doing yeah pretty, they're, they're doing a lot of things right now well what's cool is so space force everyone was waiting for a cool um office cameo and it never really came Upload had so many good, like Creed was in it for a really funny moment. Um, the dude, Mister. Oh yeah, the, who is he in? He's, he's the, the guy, guy that's supposed remember, to come remember, back. Remember, it's like he comes the back first in a body, guy where they're trying to bring dies. back his consciousness. His... Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah, Creed. Yeah. That was, and then they had Mister Brown in it. He's like a tech guy for Horizon or whatever. Mister, who's Mister? Mister Brown? Brown is the guy who did the sexual harassment uh, class in the first season of The Office. Anyway, um, and then there's one other person that I'm drawing a blank on. Oh, the guy who played um, uh, in the first season as well, I think it was, in Chili's when he's doing the meeting with Michael Scott and Jan. It's like, I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back. Baby. That guy, he's in it too. So anyway, there's a lot of like Greg Daniels people in this show, and I can only imagine season two will have more 
But that's a great show. Everyone needs to check so out. So good. It's it's actually really good. It was really, really good. It was like that. What's that? Justin Timberlake movie? Um, Just uh, in time, time or in time? Yeah, it was like a mixture of like that with like a little bit of the Black Mirror going on. Oh, it was totally like, Black Mirror esque. It was, was so good, so good. And then f- the final thing I want to mention here: Did you guys know that they're making a Jurassic World animated TV show for Netflix? Did not know that. Okay, I'm not sure if this is going to be geared towards kids is this or not. Supposed to go with like the movie? Yes. Yeah, so this is coming out next year. No, this is the premise of it, and it the way the animation style is, it looks like a kids show. But it's about a bunch of kids that are going to a place called Camp Crustacean, which is on <laughs> the island for Jurassic World is the first Jurassic what World a weak movie. Name. And it takes place when everything goes to hell in the first movie. And the Indominus Rex breaks out. It's taking place during that time, and they're at this camp at another part of the island. So I don't know if it's Whoa. supposed to be a kid's show or not. How in can all this, honesty? How, how can this be a kid? This can't be a kid's show. Don't know. I was gonna say, in all honesty, that's actually a good idea. It is, but especially camp- if they did it like the last season of Clone Wars, where they can like interlude things from the yeah. movie, so you can figure out where you are in in like but the movie. The, I don't like camp. I'm, I'm really hung up on Camp Crustacean, which I shouldn't be, but it's really bugging. Yeah, me. it's kind of weird. Uh, so those are all, all things we're stoked on, uh, guys. I have one thing to bring back. From oh, my bring it back on. around. Bring it back around. I looked it up. Two hundred and fifty thread count. Oh, okay. Two hundred fifty thre- thread count. Um, Tom Haberford from Parks and Rec would not be happy with your thread count. He thinks What's anything. Good, I don't even. I thought. I, I thought anything over. I thought like a hundred and below is cheap. Like no, anything. Anything, anything six hundred or below is cheap. Over six hundred yeah. is what you want for really fancy. Yeah. Well, these things feel amazing, and I've. Well, so there you go. They got bamboo. Maybe, maybe so what do you bamboo, think? it can't be that high. How about yeah? That? It could be. Yeah, I don't know. Per capita, per bambooida, I don't know. Um, so guys, per panda. We're yeah, per panda. We're gonna skip trivia this week because Cam's not here. Um, we're gonna let who has the title, Cam or Joe? I believe so. No, I have the cock. Okay, so Joe has the cock. Cam has Cam the title. Has it. So we're gonna wait until we can actually all be together to do. Uh, which I'm finding with the with the lag here, maybe a little bit difficult for me to be able to have a fighting chance. But whatever, we'll figure it out. That's fine. That's my fault for moving to Texas. So we are done with the episode this week. Hopefully, it sounds good. Hopefully, it looks good. We're still trying to figure things out. If it doesn't, yeah. hey, screw you. This is a free episode. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> um here, so uh, no, here, uh, here more nipple uh, more charlie on there <laughs> more censoring <laughs> um all right guys so that's the episode uh we are gonna leave you with these wise words don't eat cottage cheese and whole milk together why i don't know okay bye <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Jorlin Jordinger. Uh Could I? Could I? Excuse me. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> hang on. Can we? Can we cut that? Can we cut that and try a second time around? Yes. We yeah. Can okay. Cut okay. That and try a We're gonna time leave around. you with these wise words. Give us money on Patreon.com. <laughs> I, I like the cheese cheese one better. <laughs> All right, guys. Because I don't want I don't want to beg for money. We don't put no. Oh, we we're not begging for money. Up. These are wise words. Confucius says, "Pay wreck my Com- podcast." Confucius says, "Tip your girlfriend wisely." Oh, okay. I. Do you guys remember? It's National Girlfriend Day, everybody. Tip your girlfriend. <laughs> tip them. Tip, <laughs> tip them with whatever yes, you precisely. <laughs> tip them. Tip them. That's it. Just, Just the, the tip. tip. All right, guys. Do I, you guys remember um, oh, oh, oh. Miss Cleo? Oh, yes, yeah. I do remember Miss From Cleo. The 90s. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's okay. random, but okay. Um, well, because I thought random. of it when you said Confucius. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Oh, I'll, we'll oh, talk. I am Jason and uh, Confucius say a uh, hype. Or let me finish the okay. damn podcast, you guys. <laughs> oh, that's how Jason does all his Confucius. I was like, oh, this is a Confucius say a uh, hype. Hey! All right, guys. All right, we'll, Jordan, plug it up. We'll talk. Oh, I am uh, constipated. We'll talk, I'm not even gonna plug it up. We'll talk to you later. See you next week. <laughs> I like and I love you all. Plug it in. Plug it in. Hey guys, uh, can we do an? Oh, <laughs> uh, do your slate again. Uh, tail slate, Craig and Jordan.
Cool. Uh, you want to do Patreon real quick? I, we're going to talk about video sure. games real fast here. Just like oh, should I stop 15. This recording? Yeah, stop this recording. Just like 15 minutes or so. All right, I'm gonna All I'm gonna right. slate I'm gonna slate mine real quick. <laughs> All right, slate Jordan, yours. Jordan slate. All right, Cam cool. Craig slate. Craig um, slate. All right, guys, I'm I'm not gonna play the I'm not gonna play the um, I'm not gonna play the intro to a round around table in. I'm gonna add that post, so I'm just gonna go into a round around table. Okay. Hang on, I gotta sneeze. Uh, no. Nope, it went away. <laughs> no, nope, it went away. <laughs> All right, put down the ukulele. <laughs> All right, here we go. You guys ready? No!